Okay, question number 14 tells us that it's a, f a 1,300 kilogram car. It's traveling around a curve of radius 69.68 meters. So our 69.68 meters, which is perfectly banked for a speed of 14 meters per second. So V1, 14 meters per second. And it wants to know what must be the force of friction acting on the car to keep it in the curve if it wants to travel at 72 kilometers per hour. So V2 is 72 kilometers per hour, which is really 20 meters per second. So the first part is to find out what is the angle that it's banked at. So we do, without friction, we do some of the forces in the y direction equals MAY, and it goes to zero. So FNY minus FG equals zero. So Fn cos theta equals mg. So Fn equals mg over cos theta. Okay? Then you go to the x direction. Some of the forces in the x direction is going to be equal to mv squared over r. And when we're doing perfectly banked, no friction, it's just Fnx equals mv squared over r. And Fnx is Fn sine theta. And now where the Fn is, you're going to sub in mg cos theta. So it becomes mg sine theta over cos theta is equal to mv squared over r. The m's cancel. The sine over cos becomes tan. Take g, divide both sides by g, so v squared over g r. So v was 14. So 14 meters per second that you're going to square divided by 9.81 meters per second squared times 69.68 oops, meters. Do the math, which I did not do beforehand. Divide by, what was it, 69.68? And then do inverse tan, and you get, I was aiming for, I would say, by the look of that answer, 16 degrees. 15 with three nines, I, you can round to 16. So now that we know the angle, now we're going to add in friction. And friction will be acting this way. It will have a component in the x, friction x, and a component in the y, friction y. We start again with some of the forces in the y equal to may, which of course is going to be zero. And so it'll be fny going up minus friction going down in the y, minus fg equals zero. So this time, because we're solving for friction, don't break your friction up into mu fn. So it'll be fn cos theta minus friction sine theta minus mg equals zero. Solve, rearrange for fn. So friction sine theta plus mg over cos theta is your fn. And now go to the x direction. So our sum of the forces in the x direction will equal max, and it will be fnx plus friction in the x will equal, and of course that's mv squared over r. fnx is fn sine theta, and friction is FFR cos theta is equal to mv squared over r. So now where fn is, sub in what we found in the y. So friction times sine theta plus mg over cos theta. And all of this gets multiplied by sine theta plus friction cos theta is equal to mv squared over r. So multiply everything by cos theta to get it off the bottom, and multiply your sine theta through. So it'll be FFR sine squared theta plus mg sine theta. So I multiplied my sine through. And now multiplying by cos theta, that'll get it off the bottom here. In the next term, it'll become friction times cos squared theta, and that will equal mv squared over r, and don't forget you have to multiply this by cos theta as well. Okay, 
So we're looking for friction, and it's in two terms. So take the term that it's not in that's on the left-hand side. Take it over to the right-hand side. So friction sine squared theta plus friction cos squared theta will equal mv squared over r cos theta minus mg sine theta. Now you want to solve for friction, so factor it out here, and you'll be left in brackets with sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, a beautiful identity, which is equal to 1. So you'll have friction is equal to mv squared over r cos theta minus mg sine theta, and now you can fill your brackets in, or fill your numbers in. So friction equals, the mass was 1,300 kilograms, going around at 20 meters per second squared, cos of 16, divided by 69.68 meters, minus 1,300 kilograms, times 9.81 meters per second squared, sine of 16. And hopefully you get something like 3658.39 newtons. All right, so hopefully your bank curves with friction are making you happy, happy, happy. All right, I also asked you to do three on the back of this sheet. So we might be able to get number one done before we run out of time. So number one, a roller coaster is built so there's a circular curve of radius 80 meters at the top of one hill. It's not a loop, it's a hill, okay, which means you're going over it right side up, okay? Radius is 80 meters. The speed with which the car goes over the hill can vary. The passenger has a mass of 50 kilograms. So 50 kgs. If this, so in part A, it's telling us that the speed is 20 meters per second. And it wants to know what is the force on the passenger. So if we look at the forces acting on this person sitting straight up, sitting upright, FG going down, and the force of the seat, the normal force acting up. So we're going to do sum of the forces is equal to mv squared over r. Fg is going towards the center of the circle. We know it's positive because towards the center of the circle is positive. Fn um, is our unknown. So let's leave it as positive, and if it is indeed acting away from the center, it should work out to be negative, okay? So mv squared over r, and we're solving for fn. So fn will equal mv squared over r minus mg. And so we put our numbers in, 50 kilograms times 20 meters per second squared divided by 80 meters minus 50 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, so the first term, 400, 80 goes into 400 five times, so this should be 250 uh, newtons minus, this should be 490.5 newtons. When we subtract, we get an Fn of negative 240.5 newtons. What does the negative mean? It means away from the center, away from center which is what you would expect the seat to be doing, okay? And um, the, que the next question asks, in, in, way from the center, or in other words, up. The next question asks, is it the seat or the seat belt? So if it's pushing up, it's then the seat, right? The seat is pushing up on you. Part C then wants to know, the car's speed changes to 30 meters per second. What force does the passenger now feel, okay? And so doing the sum of the forces is equal to mv squared over r again. Everything's going to be the same right down to this point, where you're going to fill in your 30 instead of 20, and we're going to run out of time. So when we 